All right, European stocks are continuing their tear today, extending Monday's rally. Yahoo Finances, Oscar Williams Group joins us now from London. Uh, Oscar, I know that rally over there is not because of uh, Wirecard potentially axing 50% of its staff. No, Wirecard is, of course, one of the biggest duds over here in Europe. But beyond that, we are seeing the continued move towards risk on that we saw yesterday, although not as uh, rallying, not as hard as we did yesterday. Uh, the big thing supporting sentiment is really, uh, as we heard at the top of the show, these positive comments around the US-China trade uh, talks and the fact that both sides are seeing progress on implementation of the phase one, phase one trade deal. AstraZeneca also out this morning saying that they are launching a, a therapy, an antibody therapy for COVID-19, that trial beginning today. That's also supporting the continued optimism that we've seen over the last few days around potential treatments or vaccines. Uh, so uh, uh, across the broad really, we're saying most European stock markets rally. And that's in spite of German GDP numbers. This morning, we had a confirmation from Germany that the economy shrank by 9.7% in the second quarter. Economists say, well, actually, that's slightly better than had been penciled in and is also backward looking. We are past the worst uh, part of the slump now, and it's more important to look at the shape of the recovery. Worth also pointing out that a notable underperformer today is the FTSE 100 here in London. UBS joined many of its rivals today in downgrading its forecast for UK GDP growth. They now expect a 10.1% contraction across 2020, worse than the 9.8% uh, uh, they were penciling in before. And Oscar, it looks like uh, Facebook will be sending a digital check over to France. That's right. Facebook today announcing that they have agreed to pay 106 million euros to settle a long running tax dispute with French authority. Uh, this stretches all the way back to 2012 when French tax authorities uh, in fact, raided Facebook's Paris headquarters. They suspected that Facebook was trying to artificially uh, deflate its tax rate by rerouting sales to lower tax jurisdictions. The uh, part being investigated covers 2009 to 2018. Uh, this settlement basically avoids a messy dispute in the courts that could have seen uh, Facebook have to air all its dirty laundry. And it, this is not the first time we've seen this happen. Last year, Google played around 1 billion euros to settle a similar tax dispute with French authorities. All of this goes on while uh, France and uh, authorities around the world try to work out a more sustainable way to tax digital revenues. The US have been reluctant to uh, push those talks forward. Oscar Williams Group, thanks so much.